Hey class, it's Mrs. Gilling here, and I am going to be your alt psychology B teacher this quarter. Super excited. Before I let you know about the course, I want to let you know a little bit about myself and about my family. So right here is a picture of my husband, Ethan, and myself. We're at Wahoo's. It's our anniversary a couple years ago. Super fun place. We've been married for almost 10 years, so it's been a bit. Ethan grew up in Colorado. He farmed, so he knows all sorts of things about potatoes and barley and hay and onions and all that crazy stuff. You can ride horses, do all that. But right now here in Idaho, he owns a construction company. So that's pretty fun. He's super fun to be with. He's a good dad and he's he's a good, a good laugh. He's got lots of good dad jokes. So I graduated from Brigham Young University in Utah in 2014. Go Cougars! We love BYU football around here. Football season is like my favorite. I also ride a unicycle, which is pretty cool. And I love to play games, board games, card games, sports, all that fun competition stuff is pretty good. And I love teaching social studies. I've taught lots of social studies classes here with my time and I succeeded. You may have had me. If not, you may have me again. We have four kids. Our oldest is Taylor, and she is eight, and she's in the second grade. She's really enjoyed playing soccer and basketball. She's also our girliest child. She loves all things pink and scrunchies and painting nails and all that jazz, so she's great. Then there's Skylar. She's six years old, and she's pretty short. It's funny because Taylor's tall and Skylar's short, but she has a lot of personality to make up for that shortness, and she's very smart when she was probably – Five years old, I went outside and she was writing all the letters in chalk on the ground and I did not teach her those letters. And so I was very impressed that she taught herself that. And she's in kindergarten and she can already read um, pretty good sized books and very, very impressed with her. She's also a prankster. On April Fool's Day, I went outside my door and there was syrup all over the floor. So my <laughs> sticky shoes there, but I'll keep her. I like her. Next, we have Parker. She's almost four years old. I can't believe that. Almost four. When she was little, she knocked out her two bottom teeth. So she's had a toothless smile for most of her life. And it's adorable. She's feisty. Uh, she'll tell you what's up. But she's also very sweet. So she's she's totally like the opposite. But it's great. She'll, she'll be mad at you one minute. And the next minute, come up to you like, Mommy, I love you. So I like her. And then our lone boy right here, Hunter. He's almost two. He loves his sisters. He just goes around the house looking for them and he laughs at them when they're naughty, which makes me frustrated, but also makes me laugh because it's pretty cute. And he loves to dance. The boy's got moves. He'll stand on the table and just go, tru, 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 which makes me laugh all the time. Uh, I have a video of him trying to get Alexa to talk to him. He's going, Yaksa, 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 when she wouldn't answer him. So that was also very cute. But we, we love Hunter. And there's one more member of our family. This is Heidi, a.k.a. Princess Poodle Pants. She is our standard poodle, and she's almost eight years old as well. And one fun fact about Heidi is she likes to come up to you and burp in your face, which is super rude, but it's also pretty funny because how many dogs actually burp? Like, that much. Okay, let's talk about your course and your assignments. So the first thing to talk about are checkpoints. Checkpoints are usually found at the end of lessons and they help you review what you just studied to make sure you understand. And you have three attempts for each checkpoint and those are automatic attempts that come up. So if you you know, only get 50%, let's say on that first checkpoint, don't settle for 50%. Go back, review some of the questions you missed and then take it again to raise it. Take each of those attempts. And honestly, if you get through those three attempts and you're still like, oh, I just wish I did better, let me know. I'll give you another attempt. It's not a big deal. I want you to do well on them. Discussions are worth 20%. So um, throughout the dis throughout psychology, there's discussion prompts. There's one in each unit in this class. So you'll have four discussion prompts. And each discussion prompt has its own rubric. And I'll be giving you a video assignment beforehand to really explain what I'm looking for in that prompt. So make sure you're doing a good job on those. I will give you feedback on them with your score. So if you want to improve them, redo them. Look at my feedback, make the changes, turn it in again. Please let me know that you turned it in again because sometimes the system doesn't alert me with discussions like that if you redo them. So just send me a quick message, say, hey, I read a discussion 15. I'm like, cool, and I'll recreate that for you. There's also focus notes. Every unit you will fill a focus notes assignment in. And these focus notes assignments are actually designed to help you prepare for the discussions. So for most of them, you'll watch a video. I think one of them you read an article, but you're just going to watch a video and you're going to write down different facts that you learned from that. And then that's going to help you get ready to answer your discussion. And there will be video assignments that will help you prepare for those as well. But they're worth 15%. Please don't skip them. 
they they really will help you on those discussions and they will help your grade. So do good on those. Project. There's one project in this course. It's actually pretty fun. It's found in lesson seven and it involves games that you may enjoy playing. You get to pick a game or sport that you like and talk about it. So what's more fun than talking about things you enjoy, right? Uh, I'll also have a video assignment with that to help you understand the instructions. Feel free to, you know, when you turn that in, I'll give you feedback. And if you didn't get the score you want, do it again. I'll let you do that like three times. I, I want you to do well in this class. So mastery is more important to me than just rushing through stuff. So do a good job and I'll let you redo things. Then the video assignments, I've kind of mentioned these throughout, but they're just it's short instructional videos that I make, kind of like this one right here, that lets you know how to do something, especially the difficult assignments. So I will have questions at the end of these videos for you to answer so that you can make sure you understood what was going on. You have an unlimited number attempt on the video assignments, so do a good job on those. Watch them all, please. And then lastly, there's workbooks worth 15%, and they're questions that you answer throughout your lessons. So you have an unlimited number of attempts to get them right, so get 100%. So if you, get, if you take one, you get 50. Take it again until you get 100. I would love everybody got 100% on the workbooks. It would be awesome. And it would show that you're learning, which is great. All right, how to get a hold of me. I know you want to see my Bitmoji. There you go. All right, you can call me on the phone. I know a lot of people don't like talking on the phone, but if you do, give me a call. I'll help you out. You can shoot me a text. You can send me an instant message. We do that through Google Chat. So you log on to your school email. And then on the little sidebar, you can put my name in and it'll send me... There's a way for you to send me an instant message through that. You can email me. I have a live office hour on Tuesdays at 8.15. And you can send me a carrier pigeon. Okay, maybe not that one. But probably the best way to get a hold of me is just send me a quick IM. And uh, if I can answer you through that IM, awesome. If not, I'll say, hey, do you want to do a quick video call? And we can hop on together and I can work through it with you. So what you're going to do now for your first video assignment is send me a Google chat message and an instant message. Like I said, you go... If you don't know how to do that, you log into your school Gmail account, and then there's a chat bar on the side. You'll put my name there. And in that IM, I want you to let me know your favorite hobby and your preferred name. So, for example, if your name's Michael, but you hate being called Michael and you want to be called Mike, tell me that. If your name's Susan and you're cool with Susan, say, I'm good with Susan. That's what I would say. And then after that, answer the questions in the video quiz. And I'll, I'll give you a, a spoiler. There's two questions. The first question is, did you send Mrs. Gilling an IM? And answer truthfully on that because I'll check. And then the second question is, what questions do you have about the course? So there you go. It was great uh, meeting you and hopefully you enjoyed meeting me. And we will catch you next time. Thanks, guys.